Hey, all right. So today my guest is Angel Vallejo, and I, I'm so glad to introduce you to Angel today on this interview series because Angel and I have known each other for a really long time. I've watched Angel on his journey. I don't know. It must be like 10 years or, or I, it feels like 10 years. I think that's how long. And I, I'm excited to introduce Angel to y'all today because uh, Angel's had an incredible journey, not only as an, he's an author, he's a speaker, he's a leadership trainer, he's motivational, and he teaches on sales as well. As a matter of fact, one of the things that he's going to talk about today on this series is how to be a sales champion. Now, one of the things that you can expect on today's interview is not just a few tips about how you can be a sales champion, but Angel, I, I want you to get to know the man, the person, the leader, and the facilitator in front of you today because we're all on a journey you know if you're watching this if you're the typical person that's watching this you're a speaker you're a trainer you're a facilitator I want you to see people that are creating results out there and if if Angel resonates with you make sure you're getting in touch with him you know everybody that we, that comes to this series I like to think is that these are real people people they're relationship based we, we do this because we want to give back, we want to contribute, we want to help raise people up, give them a, give them a hand up. So with that, um, I'm welcoming Angel Vallejo, my friend. So glad to, that you're here. Hey, what's up, brother? <laughs> awesome, man. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for inviting me on this, on this webinar. And uh, I'm really excited just, you know, just to share my heart with people and and uh, that's, that's really what it's all about, is helping people get through the process. Wherever you're at, just know that if it's good or bad, or, or if it's down, or you, it could go up, okay? So that's, uh, it's exciting. So um, thank you yeah, for having we're me. All, we're, we're all on a journey. We're all on a journey. I'm really glad that you're here. Mm -hmm. So um, tell us, for those of you, for those that, that don't know a lot about you, um, could you just briefly touch on maybe some of the highlights along your journey and really what brought you to teaching and sharing what you're sharing now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we actually, we have, we've known each other for 10 years now. It was uh, back in 2008, actually, um, you know, for those of you who know what happened in the real estate market, we'll have a moment of silence for that. And um, I actually, I was, I found myself um, in the midst of a crashing marketplace on the phone with my mentor at the time and I had a bunch of deals. I have a background in real estate and I had all these people lined up to purchase homes, sell their homes. And next thing you know, the bank closed their doors. And I said, well, what do I do now? And he said, well, you know, uh, Angel, if you want to set yourself apart from everyone else, you're going to have to learn how to speak to uh, speak in public, right? Speak to small groups. And that same day, uh, I signed up for a speaking class, and that's how I met you, Thomas. So uh, it's awesome. exciting. It's been an incredible journey, and uh, by by all means, I'm not I'm not here to make it seem that I'm already there. Because once you reach a, a new level, you know that there's more beyond. There's a horizon beyond the horizon. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it's been a pretty awesome journey, and um, and we're I feel like we're just getting started. Absolutely. So what? Um you know, what brought you, 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 you speak a lot. I, I know you speak on leadership. You've written some books on leadership. And uh, I know that you're doing some speaking on how to be a sales champion. How did you come to that particular topic lately? I mean, that seems to be a hot topic for you lately. Yeah, absolutely. So there, um, I, you know, my mission, my vision in life is to love, serve, and transform business and life. And um, so I, and back in those days in, in 2008, I knew I had to create a message. I knew I had to learn how to go out to groups and start speaking um, truth and, and, and talking to people, building people up. And throughout that whole process, I really identified what it is that I'm here for is, is to really build people up in the marketplace. Um, but there's two sides to the coin, right? One is learning how to speak in public. And the other one is actually doing it as a business and if you're going to do it as a business you want to know how to capitalize on it on the um on, on what you have and what better way to do it is to learn the processes in sales because sales is is um there's a there's a lot of different ideas out there when it comes to sales whatever way that you look at it so i what i realize is that um in business i'm doing it as a business i, I need to learn how to actually close some sales in it 
And uh, so that, that's what I'm going to get into. And, um, and hopefully today you could get some, some good ideas, some good nuggets and uh, move forward in your journey. Cool. And, and before we get to that, um, tell me a little bit about your, your journey uh, as a, I mean, I know sales is, is very important for the up and coming speaker, facilitator, trainer, that type of thing. When you think about your journey, what do you feel made the greatest impact? So far, I, I think it's, um, it's been just take acts of faith. So there's, um, you know, there, there's this saying that says, work your plan, right? Plan your work, work your plan. Mm -hmm. And we, we make a plan, we go out there, and sometimes a plan doesn't go as, as we expected. So then it goes by, okay, we need to walk by faith. And there's been a lot of times where opportunities have come up and I had no idea what the outcome was going to be, but I said, by faith, I'm going to move forward and I'm going to show up. And then uh, things happen, things began to happen. And uh, so that, that's one thing as, as I reflect looking back is what, what is one thing that that would be it is actually going out there. And if you get, if you get one little idea to move forward, go and do it. Even if you don't know what the next step is, just take that, that first step or make that phone call, call somebody, email someone, whatever it takes uh, to yeah. get you to, to where you really want to go. I like that. And taking away, you know, having, having faith. And there was something else you mentioned in there is like I, what I heard was um, take that step. And when you take that step, I mean, there may be a, a step based upon faith. because You don't know what exactly what's going to be on the other side, if you're going to win or you're going to fall on your face. But one thing we know for sure, right, Angel, is that you're, you're going to get feedback. <laughs> you fall on your face and you make a mess or you don't connect with the audience. Fine, that's feedback. I mean, that's good to get. You're only going to improve if we're getting feedback. And then it's not always bad. It could be something amazing on the other side. But I like what you're saying about you must have faith and, and take these steps. There's mm -hmm. not, on this journey, maybe you, you know, obviously share with your experience, but there's, there's no guarantees. I mean, you can have an idea and a belief that this is possible and have faith, but there's no guarantee that you're going to be successful on the other side. Mm -hmm. But one thing for sure, you're going to get some feedback, <laughs> good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I appreciate that, Thomas. That's good. Good stuff. All right, you're just, I'm going off on what you said, man. You, I don't know if that's what you meant, but it was like, that's what I'm taking away. Uh-huh. That's funny, man. Cool, cool. Anyway. Yeah, right. I love it, man. I love it. Cool. So um, let's go to, the, let's go to these, uh, the sales side here. We'll come back to you in just a moment here and your journey as a communicator. But um, when it comes to how to be a sales champion, what can you share with listeners that are, are in this game to be, uh, um, well, let's just say they're looking to be a, a paid speaker. Sales has got to be a part of it somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, so there's just, uh, you know, there's three ideas I want to share with you, with you on this call today. And one of them is you, the realize, you have to realize that your ideas really matter. Mm -hmm. So for many years for me, I, you know, I would have ideas or I would go to these events and I would just jot down notes and, and they, there, there's so many good stuff that you get when you're on, on, online or on at, a, at an actual event. And the one takeaway that I want you to get right now is um, that your ideas really matter. And um, so when, when it comes to sales, I, I focus on three things. One is the inner game, is who we are as, as a person. And, and that's where I'm talking about this first idea is, is based in the, the inner game on who you are and knowing and identifying that your ideas, the ideas that you're getting, that they matter. They matter. So you have to understand that from the get go. Okay. So that's number one. Number two is we're talking about the outer game. So the outer game is the how to's, right? We, we always want, we, we want to know, okay, I want to get out there. I want to get somewhere, but how do I get there? And um, that's the outer game. So the outer game is I want you to share the ideas that you have. Okay, so first is you get ideas, you wanna document those ideas. Document them on a, on a journal, 
or on a video, doing video blogs, wh whatever it is that however you like to communicate, just make sure that, that your ideas matter. Second is that you wanna share your ideas. Share your ideas in whatever environment that you're in. So let's say if you're working nine to five in a, in a company, they may or may not wanna know your ideas, right? If you're an entrepreneur, you best believe people want to know your ideas because they know you're out there. You're a creative person. So you want to actually go out and, and share, share what it is that, that you have. Because I believe that you have greatness inside of you. And the third one is the action part. So the action part is um, I want you to continue to learn and create systems around what it is that you want to get. So if you're creating a speaking business, create a system that works for you and get out there and do it. And that, that's basically what it, that's what it takes. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm giving you just, you know, some, some, some really solid nuggets that you can go on. They're simple enough for you to apply yeah. them quickly. One of the things I like about, um, I, I don't know if you knew this, is that I'm, we're going through this process and I'm really enjoying interviewing uh, successful speakers like yourselves. Successful mm -hmm. speakers, some facilitators, some trainers but people that are creating results and everyone's doing it a little bit differently. And the, the intention that Bob Dietrich and I have is to make sure that people are, that are along the journey, people that want some help along the journey, get to see a, a variety of different takes on things. And more and more as I'm doing these interviews, Angel, I'm seeing there's some commonalities, there's some common threads. And you mentioned something about the inner game. There's not one person I've spoken to that is creating amazing results in the training world, in the, the live communication world, that doesn't talk about the inner game. They may call it inner game, they may call it speaking your truth, they may call it you must have a belief and a passion within, at your, in your core and in your heart. And they may call it different things, but it's not just the outward parts of it. Because you and I, I know both of us, we've known each other long enough, we've seen speakers out there that they're technically proficient, meaning they're, wow, they move in the, on the stage beautifully, they have a great voice and all of that, but something is incongruent. Something's, the inner game is incongruent. There's, maybe there's, it's like a show. It's like just a show, but like, where's the heart, baby? Where's mm -hmm. the, where is it you truly believe what you're saying, right? <laughs> and, and that's the part you can't fake. I have it, maybe some people pull, maybe some people are good at faking it. But it, 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 it's funny because then on the other side of the coin, haven't we seen people that are a mess technically? I mean, just a mess, uhs and ums and the you know, monotone or whatever, but man, they still connect because they're so passionate about what they're sharing. It's that authenticity, there's this congruence. Mm -hmm. So I love that you mentioned that whether you're talking about sales, whether you're talking about business, it, it's, this, it's this inner game that's so critical. And I can, obviously I'm on about this and I'm channeling on this because it, it seems to be the linchpin. That's the piece. That's the piece. Yes, we got these other two pieces that you mentioned. That inner game is, it's overlooked by people that start on the journey. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Yeah, absolutely. Well, that, that's exactly why, why I touch on those points because if we go straight to the how-tos, the, a lot of times we want to automatically like, okay, I want, I want what you have. I want that thing, or I want to get to this position. How do I get there? And sometimes it's, we need to take a, a few steps. Let's, let's slow down a moment and let's see, okay, let, let's see where we're at. What's our current reality. Right. And right. then from there. And sometimes um, what we found is that uh, it's ourselves that are, that are holding us back from really wanting what we, in getting what we want to get so brother you said a mouthful right there I, I think whatever you're pursuing in life a great relationship a great business a speaking career whatever it is it, it's it's between the ears or something you know um it, it's that it's that definitely the inner part mm -hmm. so so listen man so if you had to if you had to start over let's kind of use a magic wand right now if you if you had to start over what would you do differently when it comes to developing yourself as a communicator all right. So that's, um, there, there's a, a lot of things I would do differently. Um, I, you know, I had some time to one really, thing. 
<laughs> right? You just want one, right? I'm one. messing with you. I'm messing with you. We got time. Well, it's good. The one thing would probably be to start branding myself sooner and, and creating the curriculum sooner. Okay. Yeah. So branding and curriculum sooner. So wherever you're at and, and these are at all levels, right? Cause once you create something, you realize, all right, you learn something new. The first that after my first book, I, I was like, man, I need to go back. And I was learning so much after I had created it. So then, you know, you go back and, and, and you create again. So I, I love that question because where if you're really on, a, on this path of growth, on personal growth and professional growth, you got to be recreating yourself. If not, you're going to be flatlined. And I don't know okay. if you, you probably heard that. You're either growing or dying. And yeah. I definitely don't want to be dying. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a good idea to um, really, as, as I think about that, to, you know, rebrand or refocus on. You so when know, you say rebrand. Uh, just to clarify, make sure we're on the same page. When you say rebrand, what's an example of that? When you, another way to explain it a little more. Of uh, really of what you stand for, what, what, your, what your message is, right? Because I know when I first started in, on this journey, I didn't know what my message was. I didn't know my calling in life. I didn't know my purpose. I was just, I was um, ignorant on fire. I was, I just knew that I wanted to. worse things to be. There are yeah, and you know do. what? It, I um, I did gain some success that way, and I learned uh, the hard way. You know, the the school of hard knocks. Um, but yeah, just really honing in, and and it's okay if you don't know where you're at or what your purpose is mm. or what you want to focus on. Uh, I want to give you permission. It's okay. It's okay to fail. It's okay to go out there and give some things a try, and mm. um, and that you know. That's the way that I did it. I did it the long way, the hard way, the, the painful way, the way that, you know, out there and, and knocking on doors, doing speech after speech, doing free stuff, doing whatever it took, because the, this, uh, that's the passion that we're talking about, right? Because right. if you're not going to be, if you're not able to do this for, for free or, or for yourself or for your family, you know, you have to have something that's going to drive you long beyond the, the idea is, is, is or, or long, long beyond this webinar or long beyond the event, because we're going to get, we get excited or we get these ideas and we, we, uh, we have to uh, learn how to hone them and capitalize on them. If not, it just, it's just like uh, one of my, my mentors, Zig Ziglar, he says, just like showering, you know, you don't just shower once mm -hmm. and you're good to go. It's just, you know, you have to continue to do it unless, if, unless you want to just be walking around smelling uh, dirty and funky and stuff. Uh, but right. I, I know that that's not, um, that's not how we like to roll here. Um, but yeah, right. that, that's, that's, uh, I think we're going off on a tangent. So anyway, let's. You're good. You're good. You're, you're good. You're good. Yeah, so, let's so bring it back. Your, let's bring it back. You're actually fine. You're, you're actually fine. You've been very concise today, at least in my opinion. Uh, some, some guests aren't, <laughs> you are. Um, so listen, man, a social correctness aside, this is your, this is a get real moment. All right. Okay. So just you and me and think about when you're, if you're mentoring someone, you're somebody, you're, you're, you're talking to somebody along the journey, you're mentoring them, you're guiding them, you're coaching them. What is something that perhaps you haven't shared before that you really think a new speaker needs to hear? Mm-hmm. All right, so this is it. We're talking about speakers here, right? People that want to get uh, taking the journey up in their speaking game, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing would be to um, to know that it's not all about being in front of stage, uh, especially now in this day and age. You have to, if if you want to be on the main stage, that's good. And, and that, that's just one part of this whole idea of being a speaker. Mm. You know, this, what, what Thomas is doing right now, this is public speaking. If you haven't, you know, sometimes we need to, we need to um, change the paradigm of how we look at it because we may be thinking that public speaking is just being in front of stage or having a podium in front of us. 
Uh, but the reality of it is what I found for myself is that speaking is a lifestyle and it's become this, uh, especially in this day and age is, is being able to articulate your ideas and share them with people, whether it's on this kind of platform online in, in front of small groups or maybe a one-on-one -on -one conversation. So just knowing, um, you know, if I were to go back in time, I think that's what it was. Oh, all social correctness aside, right? Is, yeah, you're coaching. You're mentoring someone new and you're saying, dude, this is what you need to know right now. You think it's all glitz and glam and billions of dollars. Let me tell you the truth, which you need to be prepared for. Absolutely. Yeah. So the, the thing is really is, is knowing that the opportunity is there mm -hmm. and that realize that public speaking is not just about being on in front of a podium. Okay. And, and so, so start looking at things in different in, in different ways on how you could put yourself out there really, because it's not all about just being in front of stage. You got it, man. And, and, and if you're going to be doing, see, so I've, I've gone, I've gone to, to share in front of stage. I've, I've shared in webinars about also, uh, I've had the opportunity to be part of behind the scenes of creating events. Mm -hmm. And that's a whole different dynamic there. And um, so it just really identifying what it is that, why, why do you want to be a speaker, right? Is in the first place, but then realizing that um, your message really matters and your message doesn't have to be in front of stage. It could be online. It could be, you know, with, with a neighbor, with a stranger or, or whatever platform that you choose to, to use. Yeah. I, I like that. I, I like that. I think some, um, I've, not everybody gets into the industry because of this, but I do, I do meet people. It's like, Hey man, I really, you know, I see myself in front of millions of people and adored and all of this. And I'm like, okay, you know, that's cool. I mean, that's cool. Feed your ego. I mean, it's all good. Everybody wants different things. And I, I'm, I agree with you. I, I agree with you is that being a great communicator, I mean, when I took this journey, it's not an easy journey. I've never said to someone like, hey, you want a really easy life, then get out there in front of a bunch of people and be willing to get feedback. You know, that's, I, I don't think the average person chooses a journey like that. It's a journey I know you chose and I chose because it's bigger than us. It's making an impact in people's lives mm -hmm. and remembering that being a great trainer, great speaker can mean many different things. It could be doing webinars. It could be doing podcasts. It can be, um, it can be what, well, I don't know, phone call, phone conversations. Uh, it's not always these stages and traveling around and from a guy like me that travels around almost every single week and that's on stages, it can get very, very tiring. I'm very grateful. At the same time, it's, it's not all roses, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm looking for, you know, one of my vision is, uh, parts of my vision is to get off the road more and mm -hmm. to learn to communicate better on video, right? And on the phone so that's, I can touch way more people that way. So I'm so glad that you mentioned it's not always about the stage, it's about learning to communicate and using all the different tools that we have available to us. Absolutely. That's why I use the word communicator. I, I often say that is that, do you want to be a speaker or do you want to be a great communicator? Because communicate, that says something different. It can mean different things, to different people. Right. Well, cool, man. We're getting to the end of our time and I just have a couple of uh, fun little questions for you to wrap it up. Is uh, a couple, I call this the quick fire questions round. Okay. What, Think about inspirations for you. Um, do you have a favorite resource, an app, a book, or a favorite quote that uh, gets you inspired, turns you on, that might help the listeners? Yeah, so one, one thing uh, about that is, is really just using the platforms that you have already. So whatever it is that, that you're using, and, and, and I'm talking about social media here. So if you're using LinkedIn, if you're using Facebook or Instagram, uh, one thing that, that I started doing is uh, repurposing my content. So, and, and so if you create, if you do a, a talk, if you do a, if you write a book, whatever it is, you can repurpose that by shooting a video. You, you can shoot a video. You have ideas. If you have a phone, you can shoot a video. You mm -hmm. can upload it to your LinkedIn account. You could upload it to your, your social media platform, whatever that is, Facebook or whatnot. And, and, um, right now that's, 
that's really, you know, one thing that I'm doing that's mm-hmm. really um, that I wanted to share with you is that you can use your, your social media platform to start speaking. You don't have to wait until someone knocks on your door and says, hey, would you like to come speak to my group? Because the reality of it is there's groups out there everywhere. And if you need more ideas, uh, please reach out to me. I, you know, I, I, I also show people how to get an unlimited amount of leads, you know, in, in business. And sometimes that, that's a, a theme where people are like, man, I don't know where to get the leads. Well, great intro. Great segue, man. Great segue. Great segue. Um, what is the best way to contact you? And just, just note, I'll let you say that here, but we're also going to put that down below when we publish this. We'll have all of your contact information. Uh, is there a particular place that you'd like to hang out online where people can contact you? Sure. Yes. They could uh, contact me via email at uh, leadership sales training at gmail.com. Or LinkedIn uh, is, is also another good platform. Angel Vallejo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'll remind listeners is that I hope you all are seeing a, a theme with a lot of the speakers, trainers, and service providers that we brought on the interview series is there's some, there's some commonalities. And so sometimes we need to hear things many, 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 many times for it to sink in is so be listening for the clues, ladies and gentlemen. If you are on this journey to take your speaking and your training game to the next level, if you are just getting into it, uh, or maybe you're booked and you're not getting paid yet, success leaves clues. Pay attention to people like Angel today and some of the other, uh, other speakers that we have. See what they're doing, take these nuggets, because there's some common themes, very, very common themes. And those are the things to follow. You can you know, I always learn from a mentor is like, don't make it so tough. Ask for support. Success leaves clues. Look, be, be patient, be mindful, Thomas. Look at what the speakers that you admire, the ones that are influences to you, what are they doing? You're not trying to be them. You're not trying to be them. What are they doing behind the scenes, right? Don't make it so hard. You don't have to, if you're not starting something brand new, people have been communicating and being professional speakers since we could run our mouths for thousands of years, right? So if, if Angel resonates with you, like he does me, <laughs> I love Angel. Seriously, man, I love you. You, yeah, I love you too, your Tom. voice quality, your smile, your presence, I, it's just audiences must love you. So if, if, if Angel is resonating with you, please contact him, please reach out to him. If you wanna know where he's speaking next and what he is offering, please uh, use the contact information below. And Angel, thank you from my heart, from on behalf of Bob Dietrich and me and the whole team. Thank you so much for just offering your time, your expertise, and your wisdom today. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, too. All right. We'll see you next time. And that's a wrap. Okay.